Hi, hi, Keith Morris. We're back again at Crafts, hanging out with some students, doing some smart stuff. Promised the last night a video on doing a little bit of control room monitor phase alignment with smart. Um, and so that's what we're going to do today in this video. And uh, to start out, you probably might be wondering why I have the monitors laid on their sides. Um, so I just want to show you a little quick piece on this uh, when it comes to how you're going to be listening to these speakers in the first place. Okay. So I'm going to stand it up first, and we're going to take a little quick measurement of this speaker here in Smart. So I'm going to come over and we'll get a shot of my Smart screen while I locate it, and we'll look at frequency response real quick. Okay. Obviously, this room is a big open live sound, 5,000 square foot live sound room. So acoustically, we are going to have some reflections. So you got to bear with me. So let's delay locate real quick. And let's insert that delay. We got a pretty good uh, look at stuff. And so what's happening now is we got this big dip in frequency response right here. Okay. So why that's there, I'm just going to quickly jump over to the whiteboard here and talk about this, and then we'll kind of move the mic a little bit, and I'll show you that go away. Okay. Here we go. So if we come over here. When the time alignment of this speaker is done, typically, I believe, the microphone is placed between the two drivers, and then the time is corrected with that mic in that position. So right now, uh, if I'm listening with my head up here or my head down here, one driver is arriving before the other one will create a little time smear, and that little dip we were seeing right there, yeah? So let me turn this back on real quick. I'll put the mic on axis and we'll just see that dip kind of go away. Right? Then we're going to throw the speaker on its side and move the mic up and down and you'll see it won't matter. Okay? All right, here we go. So we're going to turn this back on. We got our hole. So I'm just going to move the mic. I'm going to turn on the auto locator. Um, that way I can move the mic without having to relocate. Now, we gain overall level, but now we don't have that hole there because I have the mic lined up between the two drivers, okay? So simply, real quick, if we lay it on its side, get the mic centered here. So now I got the speaker on its side, and I'm going to go ahead and move the mic up and down off axis now, and you'll see that it's really probably not going to matter a lot. So let's move the mic way up here. Watch. I don't even want to get you it. Now let's take this in. As you can see, nothing's really changing other than a little bit of level loss of me getting out of the high frequency uh, range of the driver, but we don't have the hole there. And now we'll get a shot of how actually far up in the air I am. So let's get it done. So, kind of that's why I lay them on this side to start with. So that's where we're gonna start, okay? Okay, and so let's get on to kind of doing this monitor alignment. There's actually kind of two different ways to get this done. One of them uh, we have where I can go ahead and actually physically move one of the monitors to get it in phase with the other one. Um, that'll be the first way we'll do it. Um, and then I'll show you the way that if we cannot, if the monitors are fixed, I'll show you a different way of finding that position. And then once we get there, I'll show you why. And that's, that's the most important part of the whys. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna, uh, the concept's gonna be is I'm gonna delay locate this speaker first capture its phase trace on the screen so I have where it's at. Then the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and pan over to the other speaker and we'll physically move it until the phase traces lock on top of each other and it'll be a done deal. Okay, So let's go ahead and shoot this speaker. Okay? So again we'll get on to the smart screen here because you don't need to see me for this definitely. So we'll turn this on. Uh, we will run a delay locator real quick. 
I'll insert. Okay. And then you're probably looking at me going, yeah, well, we got this big hole here um, in the high mid area, and you were telling me that wouldn't be there if we laid it on the side. So let's correct that a little bit. And uh, I'm going to keep the camera on the screen. First, we're going to go over and I'm going to show you why um, and how I'm going to correct this. And then we'll go back to the smart screen so I could actually see it go away. Okay? So let's look at this real quick. Now it's the angle of the woofer and tweeter not in the light at the same time. So all I'm going to do is start shifting the angle until we're on axis. And as I do that, um, you'll see that hole go away. Right. So let's go back to the smart screen as I move. As I move the angle, and I start getting on axis, you can tell now we're good. And I have the angle set up correctly. Now, we need to delay locate again because I moved the microphone. I'll move the speaker a little bit. Okay, so now we got a fairly decent phase. Again, a little phase wackiness here, um, but relatively flat for the response. So let's go ahead and capture this phase. Okay. Now that I got that captured, I'm just simply going to pan over to the other speaker. Okay. Its angle's okay, but it's arriving before the other speaker. So if the angle of the face slope goes up, that means what I'm measuring is arriving before what I measured previously. So all I'm going to do is um, slide the speaker over. And again, we're just going to get a quick shot and we're going to describe it and then uh, just go to the phase trace. I think we're going to jump back and forth. How about that? As I move it, you'll show it a little bit, and then you'll see me move it, and then we'll finish it on the smart screen, yes? Okay, cool, here we go. So literally, I'm just gonna physically grab the speaker and start moving it away. What I'm gonna see are the comb filters start going away in smart, okay? So let's go there first, okay? Let's go back to the smart screen. I'm now moving the speaker, capture these so I can shut it off and now if we look at this my computer just wigged out so we'll, we'll deal with this but as you can see the phases are on top of each other the speakers are in phase with each other and they are the same level and somewhat matched and again some room issues here but other than that that's how we get it done to get them in phase pretty simple Stop. okay so as you can see i got the two speakers phase traces laying right on top of each other um, that's about as good as it's going to get again we got some anomalies because of room the speakers are matched in level and basically frequency response as well. And so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and turn them back on, pan straight up. We'll go ahead and see that 3 dB overall gain. Um, and then basically what I'm gonna do is go move the mic about an inch out of phase and we'll see what happens in frequency response and kind of the importance of what I'm showing you right now. Okay, so here we go. All right, so here's our active. I'm gonna go ahead and pan up straight. Okay. So there's our gain in level overall, and now nothing else changed other than level, that's what it should be. And then uh, let me go ahead and move that mic an inch out of phase now. Let's let's watch what happens. So, I want to watch it follow the other. Thing. What he really wants to see how much I'm actually moving this microphone. Okay. Literally an inch. Okay. So. Holy no highs, Batman. 
okay? We just totally destroyed our high frequency, uh, our high frequency stuff. We now got a huge hole, okay? And that's just from sitting one inch out of phase in between the two monitors, okay? So anyways, that's the kind of the importance. Let me just move the mic, get it back in with it running and we'll watch the kind of hole go away. So basically, we're back the way we were once I put it back in phase, okay? Alrighty then. So now the next move, we'll just keep going. The next move is, I wanna show you a different way to get this done. Let me just shut this off so we could talk. I wanna show you a different way to get this done if we cannot move the speakers. Um, and this is pretty cool because you get to see the frequencies cancel Okay, so that was transfer trace a little bit on this. And again, this is fairly complicated. For me to get this done in a couple of minutes is rather rough. Um, I kind of screwed up my input to the spectrograph. That's my fault. I guess we all make mistakes. So um, now that I got this under control, we're going to go ahead and go to spectrograph now, turn it on. And this would be the case where we uh, cannot move the speakers that will move the mic to see where we're at. Right now, we're all good. So I'm going to go ahead and move the mic, create some severe comb filters, and then basically we'll, we'll kind of take a shot of me and I'll show you how we're going to correct this, okay? Then we'll go back to the screen and watch it correct, okay? Here we go. So, wham! I just moved the mic out of phase and we created some massive comb filters now. And so now we're going to pan over to me now and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the mic and then we'll watch it correct on the smart screen. Now, I keep forgetting about audio and I'm an audio guy. Now I'm gonna actually just start sweeping the mic back in. We'll watch the comb filters go away on the screen until we're back out at adding a 20K and it's fairly simple. So there's two different ways to do this. So here we go. Now we'll just watch the smart screen realizing I'm just moving the mic. So as I move, the comb filters start going away. And we simply, oh, moved it too far. And we're in, it's that simple. So we just basically move the microphone until all the comb filters go away, and I think we're in phase with full speed. So that's my video for today, quite a long one. Wish I could do like a half hour one and get more involved in this, but, uh, Hey, if you want to get involved, come to the school. I'd be more than happy to teach it to you. Right. See ya.